Okay, hello guys. Uh, you are using transactional email service such as Sendinblue, Mailchimp, SendGrid, Mailjet, Mailgun, and others like Musen here, or even Amazon Web Services. But email not sending to your customer or even into your own inbox. So this is why this problem happened. Okay, let's see here. Here I got um, we set up using SendGrid uh, to mail in the transactional email from our website to the to our own inbox. But the emails is not all the emails are not being received, but being blocked by the hosting provider. So now this is the hosting provider is using the magic spam software on the server. So basically, magic spam will refer to the most popular blacklisting website like the spam house so when we check the IP number of our send grid sender here you can see on the send grid log the IP address is blocked by the server software so once we go to the spam house and check the IP address and we found that the IP address from send grid as was blacklisted in the spam house uh, blacklist so basically once we go through um, all the IP address owned by SendGrid there are about 80 listing or 80 case of the SPL advisory owned by SendGrid so there's a lot of spam report or complaint from user that using SendGrid service so this is affecting other user other sangre users as well because uh, the black the block list is using a range of IP like this it's not only for the one single IP but it got range of the IP numbers so if you are using sangre service and sangre send your transactional email using one of these IP from the blacklist so there is high chance the emails got blocked by the receiver server spam uh, software so okay we 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 running a check on uh, other different um, transactional email services like this this is uh, for sendgrid.com sendgrid.com uh, any user using the smtp service for sendgrid.com or from SendGrid will be using a shared IP address so this is all the IP address owned by SendGrid.com so we can hear uh, we can see 80 blacklist IP or 80 complaint spam complaint so uh, and then we check for sending blue sending blue services got seven uh, blacklist complaint so basically is uh, lesser than SendGrid And then uh, we go for Mailjet. A Mailjet doesn't have any uh, blacklist IP in the spam house database. And then we go for Mailgun. Mailgun also don't have uh, any uh, blacklist IP address in the spam house address. So just to say, if you are looking to use a uh, email transactional service, Mailgun and Mailjet is uh, we can say it's more reliable compared to the rest like uh, sand green or sand in blue sand in blue is quite okay because uh, they still have only a few uh, IP got blacklisted but if you use Melgan and Meljet uh, is a high chance that your email won't get blocked and go into the recipient uh, inbox so this is how this is why the your email your transactional emails is not being received by the receiver because the receiver uh, receiver domains or the hosting provider of the receiving domains usually they will use a spam uh, anti spam software on the server to block uh, a list of IP address so the list of IP address usually they will get the database of the list 
of the blacklist from a uh, popular uh, online spam database like this the spam house so what you can do if your IP is listed under this uh, blacklist IP actually there's nothing you can do this is all uh, depends on the IP owner to submit their request for whitelisting or delisting policy delisting from the database so what you can do is only to maybe you can take a screenshot uh, like this your case your the IP address and you can submit to the support and ask them to request for the IP delisting from the database so that uh, all your future emails can uh, go through to the recipient uh, successfully